Hey, my name is Matt with Christian Student Fellowship, and today we are talking about my absolute favorite diagram, Who is God? When Christians talk about God, we often say God is love, right? And that's 1 John 4. But what sort of love is that? Because I love cats basketball, I love my wife, I love ice cream. There's a lot of things I love. So what do we mean by saying God is love? Well, first of all, we mean this. God is holy love. God sets the bar for what holiness is. He is high and lifted up. He is far removed from everyone else. When he does anything, it is infused with his holiness. This is why the angels in Isaiah 6 cry out, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. They are always crying out, Holy. This God is different. He is holy. He is the standard for what love is, which is what holy means. But he's not just holy. He's also sacrificial. God enters into our world. Jesus is born of a virgin in Bethlehem. He lives a perfect life, dies a horrific death on the cross for our sins. Romans 5 says God demonstrates this sacrificial love for us by dying for us when we were still his enemies. God is love that is holy. He is love that is sacrificial. But even further, he's love that is perfecting. When we, his creation, encounter his love, we can't help but be perfected to God's level of holiness. God takes us from where we are and brings us up into his holiness. That is love. And what we mean when we talk about who God is, the God of love, we mean it is a God who is holy, completely different than us. We mean it is a God who sacrifices his life for ours and a God who perfects us, who puts us literally on his back and carries us into his level of holiness. When Christians say, who is God? And then they say, God is love. He is holy love. He is sacrificial love. And he is perfecting love. This is who God is. And this is actually what the gospel is.